Netflix. Oh, hey guys, Halo Reviewer here. This time with take three on the Dutch figure. First time his hand fell off, uh, which I'll show you why. And then the second time I got him interrupted. So this is take two. Uh, well, first thing I want to say, this figure is not a good figure. Well, the one I got is not a good figure, at least. Oh, my background's falling down. Oh well. Um, it's not a good figure at all. But well, this is just mine, because mine's just really loose. Uh, right now, in take two, his other hand fell off as well. Uh, these are really small hands right here. Um, this thing right here, I don't know if you can see that little black ball right there. Yeah, that connects it and it falls off. Um, and he cannot hold the Spartan laser right now. Except for that pose I showed you. Um, it's kind of hard for him. To, I'm not going to make it do it because his hand might fall off again. Oh, yeah. Look, his hand is really loose. Uh, and if you tilt it down, it goes down. See? Look, I'm going to move it up right now. See? You see that? It is very loose. Uh, now, hopefully these figures, not all of them are like this. I just got the bad one. And I want to say this is exactly the same mold as the rookie right here. Um, he just has a few add-ons on him. I mean, look. He has just another one of these things right here. Um, different colors, that's probably it. Um, but he still has those flashbangs right here. Uh, as a rookie. You see that? Um, the backpack is kind of different. Um, he just has a few different little adjustments to his. Um, his helmet is kind of different. If you paint it, I guess, this thing right here. Uh, yeah. And his visor is different from all the other ODSDs. Um, same legs, same knee. Uh, uh, except this one's more loose. And same trigger finger. So I guess he could hold a BR. Something like that. Here he is with the normal ODST. They're about the same size. It just looks like he's bigger. Because the ODST is standing straight. His is more like a split. Um, he came with the reach grenade. Uh, I say reach because it's exactly the same grenade they've been using. But he has no butt peg. So what the heck. I give, I'm going to give that to a marine. Um, it says Dutch up here. And then UNSC. And then he has that cross. Uh, I mean the skull face thing. Um, I I, um, was it oh yeah. Spartan laser. It's not the same one as Series 2. Uh, repaint wise. It isn't. Uh, he also came with this one. Oh, by the way, this should give you a hand to the Halo Combat Evolved Master Chief. The review will be up next. Uh, he came with this piece and I believe the left one. Um, him and Master Chief make the easy one or normal, I believe. I forget. But, uh, yeah. Um, for articulation, he's the same as the rookie. Um, his legs do go 360. His knee is all in a ball joint. Um, his foot kind of goes around. Whoops. Need to fix that. But yeah, his leg does go around. Uh, this hand could go around 360. Not this one. I guess because this one's a little bit more loose. But as you can see right there that I couldn't go. So I guess it doesn't go 360. Um, he does have uh, elbow articulation. It does go 360. And then his hand right there. And then for his head, he does go 360. Um, he doesn't have any, um, waist articulation. Uh, hold up. Here he is with the Marine. Um, he's bigger than the Marine. Um, he looks a little bit bulkier. That's probably it. Uh, here he is with, um, the original Halo 3 Master Chief. Uh, as you can see, Master Chief is taller than him. And here's uh, the Platinum Chief with them. But yeah. Uh, I would recommend this figure. Just as long as you don't get one as loose as mine. That's probably the only thing. I would rate him a 4 out of 5. A 3 out of 5. Because he's very, very loose. And he can't hold the Spartan laser very well. Uh, but uh, yeah. See, you saw that. Um, this is Halo Reviewer saying goodbye, and uh, yeah.